Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Chris and I do my perfume series by the pool outside. We are well into summer and I'm going to start doing some single note perfume videos. One of the reasons is I have plenty of material. And the second reason is I think a lot of people are interested in one particular note. They're looking for a perfume with one particular note. And instead of watching a top 20, top 30, XYZ video, I think these single note perfume videos would be very helpful. Secondly, it's helpful to me because I have a very large collection and I'm starting to consolidate it and put everything in one place and it helps me to get an idea of what my inventory is, what my collection is, and do I really need 10 different cotton candy perfumes or 20 different cotton candy perfumes or 20 blueberry perfumes, etc, etc. So the single note review series helps me as well. I have several videos coming up that I plan on doing in the next couple weeks that are going to be more gourmand focused. And then after that, I'm gonna hit some florals. So today's video is all about cotton candy. I have a ton of fragrances that feature the note of cotton candy. And this was a video that was highly requested by you. And with that, I'm just gonna dive right in. So I've got all my fragrances in a box next to me and I'm going to just grab and go. And the first perfume I picked out was the fragrance that I would want to wear right now. Right now it is about 4.30 in the middle of the week. I think it's a Tuesday and it's hot. It's almost 90 degrees. So I'm gonna continue to film outside until I visibly sweat or melt. But this was the one perfume that I would want to wear right now. In fact, I think I'm going to coat myself with it and it is called Candy by Thomas Cosmala, and it is a recent pickup for me. This is a fresh, sweet, fun gourmand that manages to have a lightness, a pleasantness about it. And I am sitting here in the 90 degree heat. This fragrance is perfect for this occasion. Not all of the fragrances that I will be talking about today I would want to wear in, you know, 90 degree weather, but this is certainly one of them. And it's because, you know, it has a lot of tart fruits in here. There's cherries, there's red berries, red fruits, and they are not the overly sweet syrupy type of fruit. They are the tart variety. And it is perfect in here because you have some sweetness from the cotton candy that's not overwhelming, a little bit of vanilla, and also in here is some tart cherries. So the dry down it does get sweeter, but it's not overly sweet. And I think there's a little bit of I want to say resins or caramel in the dry down. So there's a lot of sweet notes, but it doesn't read overly sweet. It's still very refreshing. Again, on camera, I just sprayed myself six times and I smell great. It's not overwhelming. It's still fresh, even though it's sweet and a fabulous fragrance with the note of cotton candy that is not overwhelming. Now, yeah. we typically can't have it both ways. If it's not going to be suffocating, it's probably not going to be beast mode. And this is not. It's fairly light wearing like a citrus fragrance so it's on the light to moderate side i don't care something like this i don't want it to be a monster it's just perfect the way it is and it's big enough that i'm about to decant it into a little travel spray and carry it with me in my bag so when i want to smell like delicious tart fruity cotton candy i will be wearing candy the next one is another fun whimsical fragrance featuring the note of cotton candy and i have a nice little travel spray i'm telling you i'm really loving the scent bird travel sprays i just think they're perfect not only to discover a fragrance but sometimes a travel spray is just enough and in this case it is i remember spraying my daughter yesterday because i hadn't worn this or tested it in a while and it's very fun this smells very good if i didn't have so many fragrances featuring cotton candy i probably would buy a full bottle but this smells like cotton candy like a strawberry cotton candy or just a pink cotton candy with a really good strawberry conditioner and i mean that in the best way so it's sweet but very creamy and the strawberry note is very prominent to me it reminds me just a touch it reminds me a little bit of um pink sugar but it doesn't it's not screechy this is still fairly smooth it's playful and it just smells like it has been smoothed out with some lovely strawberry conditioner. Another one that wears lightly, it's not a monster, and I'm really enjoying my travel spray. I will probably, if the only way I will buy a full bottle is if I empty my travel spray, that's my new rule. So a fun take on a cotton candy with Sugarful. A fragrance house that I was super happy that I discovered last year on Instagram is called Day Three Fragrances, and they have a fragrance 
that features the note of cotton candy that I purchased last year. And they are an award-winning fragrance house. They're brand new and they are an award-winning fragrance house. So since this is a cotton candy video, I'm going to be talking about the fragrance they have, which features the note of cotton candy. And again, it's called Downtown Deja Vu. And this is an homage to going to the mall in the 90s, which I did. Hey, that was like your entertainment. You went there and you kind of, you went to the mall, you went shopping and you stared at boys. <laughs> That's what we did for entertainment. Anyways, this perfume is like traveling through the mall. They had ton in the 90s, fruit smoothies were a big thing. It was a big thing. So part of this is supposed to mimic like the smoothie shop. And then there's a little bit of iris in here, a little bit of musk, which is supposed to mimic kind of walking by the t-shirt shop. So, oh, I get that in the beginning. And then if, as it progresses through the fragrance, it becomes a little bit sweeter. It has more sweet notes. That's where the cotton candy is. There's a little bit of leather that's supposed to symbolize walking by Wilson's leather, which was huge back then. And cotton candy, which is supposed to conjure up, you know, being in an arcade where there's a lot of candy and some cinnamon in here. Nice cinnamon sweetness for all of the Cinnabon shops. So a cute representation in a bottle of all those fun smells and memories from the 90s. I really, really enjoy this. This is for sure a year-round fragrance. It's absolutely something that can be worn in the cold and I think in the heat as well, although maybe not 95 to 100 degree weather because of some of those heavier notes but definitely anywhere in the air conditioning. And this fragrance house, I love this fragrance house for so many reasons. They have a fabulous discovery set and I think it's only like $20, $25. And if you buy the discovery set and they have tons of amazing fragrances and you wanna buy a full bottle, they will take that $20 off of the full bottle price, which is unbelievable. So downtown Deja Vu by Day 3 Fragrances. So the next fragrance is one I think I've only talked about one time and it is by Loewe and this is called White Magnolia. And this fragrance features citruses and white flowers and cotton candy and vanilla. And even though this sounds like it's gonna be a heavy fragrance, it wears lightly. The citrus in here I'm pretty sure is either yuzu or grapefruit and it adds or it lends a nice kind of a citrusy freshness this does not smell like jasmine or tuberose, any of those heady white florals. So it's got a nice, pleasant, light floral something something going on here. And in the dry down, there's cotton candy and there's vanilla. So it does get a little bit sweeter as it wears down. And the yuzu or the freshness lasts a lot longer than typical citrus notes in a fragrance. So it maintains some freshness and it's slightly floral and it's sweet and fun. This is another one this year round, but definitely to me reads more spring and summer. And I would say it has moderate projection, moderate lasting power, a really nice fun fragrance from Ulueve. The next one is a fabulous cheapie and I just talked about it in a video I filmed over the weekend, but I haven't released it yet because I haven't finished editing it yet. <laughs> But it is a fantastic fragrance by a very affordable house, and the house is Ochamer, and the fragrance is Vanille. And I believe there's two notes listed. This is vanilla and cotton candy, and that's basically what you get. You get a vanilla cotton candy. It's a little bit fruity, so I would say this is a like a strawberry cotton candy in vanilla. Fairly simple, fairly linear, but for an eau de toilette, this has phenomenal lasting power. I remember wearing this to work thinking it was gonna be very, very quiet. And after work, I only had to work a half day. I had a doctor's appointment. I went to the doctor's appointment and I had several people come into my room or as I was walking by them, they said, wow, you smell really good. And it was Vinny. So I think this cost me all of $20, a fantastic, fairly linear, sweet, slightly fruity, vanillic cotton candy that is a great bang for your buck. So the next fragrance is the most floral of the bunch and it is the beautiful, this is called Ballerina. So this is a floral fragrance. This is an iris heavy fragrance that has a note of cotton candy in addition to peach. So this is a peachy iris with vanilla cotton candy and the iris in here kind of reads powdery and slightly earthy or vegetal. 
So this probably has orris or orris butter, orris root in it. The peach gives it a nice fruity, light fruity sweetness without being too syrupy. And even though it is predominantly floral and powdery in the beginning, as it dries down, that cotton candy and that vanilla take over. So if you're not really into full-on gourmands and you'd rather have a gourmand with floral or a floral gourmand, this is a beautiful one and it really does fly under the radar. I don't ever see this one getting a lot of hype or even being talked about. It is a really nice fragrance if you love iris. This is really hard to dislike. Okay, I have a couple of oils in my video for today. The next one is, oh my gosh, blow your mind for the right person. I've shown this one other time. This is called Private Musk by Swiss Arabian. Holy moly, this is decadent. So I'm a bit, oh my gosh, I'm a big gourmand lover and this is totally a gourmand treat. This has caramel, this has cotton candy, there's saffron in here, some fruits a little bit of oak moss, some amber, but this is basically a, a buttery caramel oil with a little Baccarat 540 vibe. That lasts forever. I put this on one night, like after I took my bath, I put this on like one little dab, whoop, on the arm, one little one. Put my bathrobe on, watch some movies or whatever. My husband walked in the room like three hours later and he was like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? It smells very good, very buttery, and he hates almost all of my gourmands. So he could smell that little dab from walking in the doorway, and when I woke up the next morning, it was still going strong on my arm, and it had rubbed off on the inside of my robe and was going strong for days. This thing is a monster. This is fabulous, layered under several fragrances. My favorite, the ultimate, the ultimate scent combo is this one and Baccarat 540 if you love Baccarat 540, but you could just fill in the blank. You could put any strawberry fragrance with this, any caramel fragrance, anything that has vanilla, or you wanna bring out some warm buttery caramelly notes. This is a bomb. And this is one I bought on Amazon at the Swiss Arabian website. They have their own site, Amazon site, and I think I paid like $25 for it. Worth, I mean, this is worth its weight in oil and a couple little drops will last forever. This thing is gonna last me 40 years. So I love it. So let's talk about the other oil I have in my little box that has um, cotton candy. And this is from Oil, Perf oil Perfumery. It's called Sundazed. And I think this, this is a impression of the Byredo Sundazed. I have a sample of Sundays, and I'm telling you, when you account for the differences of an oil versus a perfume and how they wear, they are very, very close. I like to buy these oils. I think they're around $20. I use them as testers. You're gonna spend, especially if you get them from Lucky Scent, you're gonna spend, you know, four to seven dollars on some crappy little dabber. And this thing will last forever. I love to put these in my bag and use this as a touch up. They're great for layering, but back to the scent. But this fragrance is very fresh and bright and sweet and has a nice juicy citrusy freshness. And I think the it's orange, so it's it definitely is orange. This smells like orange hard candy with a little bit of lemonade, some florals, like a, I think it's, a, what am I thinking of, orange blossom. Do I get cotton candy per se? No, but it, it does have a sweetness to it. It's definitely sweet. So I think that's that orange candy sweetness that I'm detecting is the orange note mixed with some cotton candy. It is so good, it's delicious. I do not feel like I need to buy the full bottle of Sundays. Those perfumes are really expensive and I like this and I don't feel like my perfume collection is incomplete without the full bottle. So this will do just fine and it's a delicious fun fragrance. The next one I have is a sample I got and it is by Floral Street, and I haven't worn it in a while, and I wrote, jotted down some of my notes, so I kind of want to remember what it smelled like. And this is a really good perfume. I wrote down that it was a citrusy, shampoo-y, fruity floral with a little bit of cotton candy. And it's got guava, lemon, peony, and additional tartness from some, from some red berries. Um, I wrote down that it's nice, it smells nice. Not super unique and the cotton candy in here isn't overly sweet. It's a little on the tart side, and 
this house is a cleanly formulated house. So if you're only looking for fragrances that are cleanly formulated, this would be a fantastic option. I just have so many cotton candy based fragrances. I don't need to add another, but if I was starting again and I needed to, and I wanted to add a cotton candy fragrance to my repertoire and have one that's cleanly formulated, this one would be great. So I'm just gonna enjoy the sample and then move on. Okay, the next one is another Simone Andrioli fragrance. I tell you, Malibu Party in the Bay gets all of the attention. And there are other ones in the collection that I love. Pacific Park is a like. It's not my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love the way these spray. These have the best sprayers. I just wasted a bunch of sprays, but this is a like, not a love. I love my other Simone Andrioli fragrances. This is a strong like. And I think the reason is because it has a, a real heavy musk, at least for me. And I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the heavy musk strong fruit combo, i.e. what you get in Herba Perda. I'm sure I just butchered that name. That is not a fragrance that I love. That is too overpowering for me. Now, does this smell like Herba Perda, Fiora? No, it doesn't smell like it, but it has that fruit musk combo. The fruits are stronger. It's just like, I think it's just candied fruits. And it has caramel and there's cotton candy and I want to say oh, a black currant and pear. So there's a lot of fruity sweetness in here, but there's definitely a musk in here. Thank goodness it's not as strong and nuclear as it is in Herba Pera or anything similar. It's really, really toned down. The musk is toned down, but it's certainly very present. And for that reason, it's one I would be very, very careful with in the hot weather. Now in the evening, if you're going out, this would be a great date night fragrance or summer where it's not super hot. In the Midwest, it gets really, really cold in the winter and it gets really, really hot in the summer. As I just said, it's still like 88 degrees right now, but I wouldn't want to coat myself with this. But if I was in air conditioning or if I live somewhere a little bit cooler, yes. And this is a great one for the spring or even the fall. And it just reminds me, those smells are supposed to conjure up being, I think, um, being like on a boardwalk somewhere, you know, like a New Jersey boardwalk, something like that. The sights and s the smells of being on a boardwalk. There are a lot of fun, sweet goodies at a carnival or a boardwalk. And this is supposed to encapsulate that, and it does. I definitely do detect a cotton candy sweetness, but there's an other, there's a general sweetness to it from the fruits as well. So a really good offering in the right situation. So the last one in the box, the last one I'd be talking about is one I absolutely would not wear in the summer, but I do have a lot of subscribers who live in the Southern Hemisphere and also live in places that aren't as hot as we are. And it is Magnificat by Quinto Canto. This is a winter cotton candy in my opinion, or if you live somewhere where it's cold, you could definitely wear it on a, cold summer night, but it's definitely, it is an amber cotton candy. The amber in here is beautiful. It's an, somebody's really having a good time in their pool. They just got back from summer camp and are having a real good old time. So this is amber. This is predominantly amber. It's very resinous. There is cotton candy in here. It's woody. There's some sandalwood and there's incense in here. This is not going to get anywhere in the summertime, but for some of you out there, this would be a lovely choice. And it is unisex in my opinion, because of the way that the amber is. So, Magnificat. There's a couple that I didn't talk about. One of them is from the House of Kais, and it is Zucchero Filato. And the only reason is because my atomizer is broken. But just quickly, it's a very sticky, sweet, milky, fruity cotton candy that I haven't worn in a while again, because I, I can't deploy the atomizer. So. I haven't worn it in a couple years. And the one by Skylar, I don't have that fragrance. I went to go buy a travel spray at my local Sephora and they didn't have it, they were out. So if that's a must get, let me know in the comments. Also, if I didn't talk about one of your favorite cotton candy fragrances, let me know in the comments below. Even though I have plenty of cotton candy fragrances right now, I'd love to hear about it. But again, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me and I will see you on the next one, which will be in about five minutes.